Hello everyone, so it's almost the middle of the night, I'm outside, I'm cold, why am I outside? Uh, am I, am I fixing my car? Kinda, you see this, that's IB kicks. Uh, so what I'm doing is, apologies for the lighting, I have just a floodlight which is oh, blinding me. Anyway, what I'm doing is, I want to know how much of an opening do I need for my mid-base drivers to perform optimally so what I'm doing is I started drilling holes one by one so I drill one hole take a measurement I drill another hole take a measurement so so far I have I think 17 18 holes and what I noticed is that the measurements don't change that much drastically so I think that's something optimal what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna take this thing I'm gonna get cut everything out just to have a big wide opening and then I'm gonna take another measurement and then I'll see if it makes a difference and then I'm gonna go to my laptop and we're gonna look at those measurements in REW and we will see how much of a cut is optimal for a six and a half. Okay, so the hole is done. Cut it out. It's not pretty, but it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna finish it later on. It's just for testing. Inside the yellow, you can see it's fiber fill from my mold for the mid base. And yeah, I'm gonna take the last measurement and see how it is. So let's have a look at the results on the measurements. I did two types of measurements. I did near field and I did from the driver's seat. So let's start with the near field. Uh, this was when the driver was basically sealed, uh, just venting into the sill, no vents outside. It was just maybe a few, where you put the clips in, maybe a few holes, but nothing more. So I started drilling holes as one hole, two holes, three, four, five. And as you can see, it does change. However, what I noticed, uh, after 10 holes or so, I'm going to do this, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, they don't change much at all. And this last one is with the hole uh, fully open as much as I could open it. So from my this my experiment uh it didn't change much after 10 holes tiny bit but not as much as like maybe maybe one one db but not that much so let's have a look at the from the driver's seat which is more important so just for contrast this was when it was basically sealed and this was fully open so as you can see, anything below 70 is like, a, again, 10 dB, which is amazing. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, sealed, one hole, two holes, three, four, five, six. And as you can see, one, two, three, there's a big gap. And then uh, the response is not, it doesn't change that much. So seven, eight, nine, and you can see they're piling up one on top of each other. So that's what I say, after 10, it doesn't change that much. So I did like 18 holes, and to be honest, I don't know how I lost the other measurements. After 15, 14 holes, so 15, 16, 17, 18, I lost them, but I have the last one. So uh, 13, 14 and the last one last one is a bit different because uh, I measured it after I put the carpet and everything back so it's tiny, it's tiny tiny bit different but what we can see from this first probably yeah eight eight nine holes uh, makes the biggest difference and then it's just tiny tiny little bit of 
benefit. And what I notice as well is if you look at here as 140, I think that the holes that I made started to act, uh, the whole system started to act like a vented enclosure and it's like corresponding to a port. I don't know, then the frequency should change. So I don't know if it, it has to do something with that or not. But anyway, this, the bottom end, I'm looking at about 765 hertz. So this was the problem problematic area for me when I had big, big issues and I didn't have any base in the area from my mid base, but now I have it. So from this particular experiment, I needed about 10, 11 holes to get optimum results from my particular driver. So let's do some math. One hole, I used a 10 millimeter drill bit. So one hole is 0 0.785 uh, square centimeters. That's one hole. If I take my driver, which is Hertz uh, Milli Pro 165, it has a diameter of 132 millimeters and the SD or um, this is 134. So 10 holes makes eight square inches and it's only 6% of uh, driver SD. And when I fully opened it, it was about 30 square centimeters and it's 22%. So from my particular experiment, I have, I think, optimal results with above 10% of drivers SD, which is weird because everybody's online says like it has to be at least 50%. So again, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly because maybe if I opened it up much, much more, something would change very drastically and maybe this would disappear or something, but maybe I'm gonna try to cut a bit more to see but from what I noticed, uh, this gain in lower end reduces with, with the more you cut, basically you're getting less. Yeah. So these are my results. Uh, I'm happy to share the MDAT files if anybody wants to see them. And yeah, I want to hear your thoughts about this as well. Maybe somebody who did this many, many times are uh, going to comment and point out the mistake I made uh, in these measurements or something. And I don't know. Again, if this helps anybody, happy days. If not, please help me. <laughs> but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.